subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Flexi S9, that beautiful lilac, or should you buy the LG G7 ThinQ? These two phones are two of the hottest Android phones you can buy right now, but they're both around the same price category. And as requested, we are going to compare them here to find out which is the better phone overall. Let's begin with the key specifications that matter really quickly. So beginning with the key specs of the S9 that really matter here, 5.8 inch Super AMOLED display. This is a 2960 by 1440p resolution. So super sharp, beautiful angles. And this phone has been, you know, refined over the years and over the years. So beautiful display, 12 megapixel camera on the rear, shoots in 4K, also has a variable aperture. So when you're in low light, the lens will actually open up a little bit to give you more light at nighttime, four gigabytes of RAM, Exynos 9810 octa-core CPU or Snapdragon 845, depending on your region. And you will get a 3000 milliamp hour battery sealed inside the body of this device. Now the OG G7 ThinQ does offer up a slightly bigger 6.1 inch, 1440p by 3120 pixels. So a little bit higher resolution here, 16 megapixel dual cameras on the rear, and it does shoot in 4K as well. Six gigabytes of RAM or four gigabytes of RAM. I have the four gig of RAM version here snapdragon 845 and a similar 3000 milliamp hour battery so those are the key specs you can see that both of them are pretty much even steven when it comes to their specification okay so let's talk about the build quality of both of these devices now the galaxy s7 features a beautiful curved display on the front kind of symmetrical with the back of the device and a glass rear here and you also do have a pretty flat camera design and the sides are constructed out of kind of like a metal feel so overall the galaxy s9 should be a very sturdy device ip68 water and dust resistance here very nice build quality here and you know other than some a little bit of a scratching unless you don't drop this thing it should hold up rather easily throughout the duration of your use now the lg g7 thin q is a similar uh build quality as well it does have glass on the front and the rear does have metal sides as well they just feel a little bit more like the iphone 10 like a little bit slipperier here on the lg g7 thin q so that's about the only differences I noticed in terms of the build. They should be about even when it comes to that, besides a little bit of scratching here and there. They should hold up very well. Now, both of them do attract a lot of fingerprints, so keep that in mind. Now, which one should you buy in terms of design? Well, first of all, if you don't like a notch, of course, it's the Galaxy S9 every day of the week. This one doesn't have a notch at all, but it does have a curved display. If you like a flat display, you will like the LG G7. There's no curves on this panel it is a flat display and both of them are very narrow with their new slimmer aspect ratios you do have a notch however on the lg g7 thin q design so keep that in mind on the back it does have a flat camera as well and it feels very comfortable in the hand it's got that similar feel to an iphone 10 where it kind of feels like you can get a lot of screen in a small body but so does the galaxy s9 so if you're looking for phones that have big screens and small bodies both of these will do the trick here i think the s9 is a little bit more compact a little bit easier to reach the top because the lg g7 thin q is pretty tall but both of them are going to be very comfortable designs it just basically comes down to do you want the notch or not because other than that they're pretty even in design moving on to their display qualities which one should you buy and this is one of the big differences between the s9 and the g7 thin q if we go into settings and we go into display this guy's going to offer you up a oled display and it does have different screen modes cinema photo basic you can really tweak these out down here as well very sharp text for the galaxy s9 and then you have an lcd that does have a boosted mode here that allows you to knock that brightness all the way up to one thousand nits here for the g7 so people who are outdoors a lot and want to see that phone in the sun the lg g7 is the winner of these two now the galaxy s9 is not hard to see outside either because it can also knock its brightness way up on the auto brightness mode you have to put in auto mode to get the most out of it in the sunlight though but however both can be read outside but the lg g7 thin q being lcd technology and being that it has that boosted mode, it can be seen a little bit better outside. A little bit higher resolution, so text does look a little bit sharper on the G7 Thin Q, but colors look better for the Galaxy S9. Also, when you're watching video, you are gonna get a little bit of a better experience 
on the DS9 just because the colors are more rich and vibrant. You have deeper blacks, which creates a bigger contrast ratio, which allows you to just have a more enjoyable media experience. So media people, people watch a lot of videos, S9 is your boy. People outside in the sun a lot who need to just see that LG G7 thin Q, no matter what it is, if you're an outdoors person and you, you're constantly having trouble seeing your phone outside, the G7 thin Q should suit you well. Also, if you're someone who has a problem with PWM, post modulation, which basically makes your eyes hurt a little bit. Some people's eyes hurt a little bit at nighttime on OLED displays. LCD technology here for the G7 ThinQ should suffice. And one last note I want to make about the G7 ThinQ is that it does have a very nice color for an LCD display. It almost looks like an OLED display sometimes, but still, when, once you put it next to the S9, you know that it's not an OLED display. So let's talk about their software. Galaxy S9 is going to give you Samsung Experience version 9.0 with Android 8.0 Oreo on board and it's typical samsung touch with experience here it's gonna be you know themed out you know pretty heavily so if you like a stock feel this one is further away from that than even the lg g7 thin q if we go into the settings you can see very samsung oriented and you're gonna have tons of features that you're gonna be finding for months to come so this one is loaded with the features and it actually runs better than ever before no lag on the galaxy s9 very nice performance and a lot of nice multitasking features like the pop view right here where you could pop an app as many as you want basically in this little bubble and do some great multitasking on this little Galaxy S9. So it's a powerful device with powerful software, although people who tend to prefer a more clean software might prefer the LG G7 ThinQ. Whereas this one is definitely skinned out as well, but I think it's a little lighter on the theming than the Galaxy S9 Plus LG's skin is just a little bit lighter. And uh, there is a little bit of a delay when you do hold down on the home screen and you go to your widgets and stuff like that. And the face unlock sometimes is a little bit delayed, but I could say the same thing about the face unlock for the Galaxy S9. The LG G7 ThinQ other than that has fantastic performance. And I think the animation sometimes look quicker than on the Galaxy S9. So. In the performance round, both are rocking the same CPU and about the same gigabytes of RAM, meaning performance shouldn't be the main reason that you choose these two. But if you're looking for a cleaner software, I think the LG G7 ThinQ has a cleaner one, but I think the S9 has a more refined software. So refinement or a little bit lighter on the theming, that's what you kind of got to decide here between these two. In terms of updates, Samsung and LG both take some time to get you those updates, but I think Samsung's slightly quicker than LG in my experience to get that update to your phone. In my experience, the battery life on the Galaxy S9 has been pretty good. It gets you through a full day rather easily, but you're not finishing the day with so much more that you're going into day two. You have enough to finish out your night, usually maybe around 30% or so, but it's not going two days. So the Galaxy S9 is a charge it every night phone for sure, but it's not gonna leave you hanging more than likely. If you're a super heavy user, stay away from the S9. The battery is just not as large as like a Note or an S9 Plus. Now, the G7 ThinQ actually has the same 3000 milliamp hour battery, and I haven't had a great experience with the battery life here, although it still can get me through a day if I'm doing medium to heavy use. Heavy use though will eat this one down quickly. I'm getting about three and a half to four and a half hours of screen on time for the G7 ThinQ, about four and a half to five and a half for the S9. So in my experience, the battery life is a little bit better for the S9 versus the G7 ThinQ. And I mean, the G7 ThinQ does have a larger screen and that might be the factor. But if you're choosing them for battery life, I think the S9 is the better bet here in battery. Both will offer up wireless charging though, so you have no issues with that. And they both charge extremely quickly. Both have fast chargers in the box. So let's discuss the cameras between both of these devices. The Galaxy S9 has been a stellar camera. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. It's just everything you take a photo of just comes out vibrant, beautiful. It focuses extremely quickly. It has plenty of modes. You have super slow-mo, 4K options. It's really a great camera for the Galaxy S9. Now, the LG G7 ThinQ, you know, it's been good as well, but I think it's more for the person who wants to do manual controls. It does shoot more, I would say more of a flat photo, not as vibrant as the Galaxy S9, but you can tweak that out. And you do have some nice modes here in the camera settings, manual modes, you can do cine video. There's some great options for content creators, but you know what? I'm not going to talk too much about the cameras here. Go ahead and judge the samples I took side by side between these two to decide which camera is going to be for you. But I will say that having a dual camera wide angle lens for the G7 ThinQ, considering that the S9 costs the same price and has a single camera.
discussing their audio quality differences. On the bottom, you can see headphone jack here and USB-C to mention. And you also have a headphone jack here at the bottom on the LG G7 ThinQ, USB-C there as well. However, the G7 ThinQ does not have a dual speaker, you know, stereo sound kind of setup, whereas the S9 does. And it does have a Dolby Atmos feature here in the notifications tray. You can see up there Dolby Atmos, which makes these speakers extremely loud for the S9. Now over here on the G7 ThinQ, you will get a very loud speaker experience when you are placing the phone flat on a table. There's a resonance chamber in there that really raises the volume for the G7 ThinQ. And it does work. But where the G7 ThinQ will beat the Galaxy S9 is in the Hi-Fi Quad Deck, also the DTSX 3D surround sound. So if you're into really high quality audio, but you are gonna need some high quality audio supported headphones, the LG G7 ThinQ is the better option. But if you're looking for better external speakers, you know, you can get really loud here for the G7 ThinQ, but you need a table. We're not always gonna have a table around. Then external speakers, I would say, the S9 is your pick. In terms of the phone call quality, this is 2018. If your phone cannot make a phone call, what are you doing? But luckily, both of these can make a phone call just fine, and they both sounded great through the earpiece. They both support HD voice depending on your carrier, and they do have good speaker phones for you know listening to people on speakers. So very good in this department for both of them. I haven't had an issue with either, so I can't give one the advantage over the other when it comes to the phone calling experience. Now, when it comes to storage, the Galaxy S9 definitely has a few more storage options. You have 64 gig. They just offered up the 128, 256 gig options as well for the S9, expandable storage on this guy. Same here though, you have 64 gig or 128 gig and you can expand the storage for the G7 ThinQ. So really it's gonna come down to, you know, if you need more storage on your phone, the S9 does offer a larger capacity model, but if you don't care about that, then the G7 will be fine. They both have pretty good size storage options. So both of these coming in around 700, 750 bucks. Sometimes, you know, you can find a G7 ThinQ for 630, 650. You can find the S9 at a discount as well, 650. These are both in the same price category, but which offers up the better value? Is it the Samsung Galaxy S9 or the LG G7 ThinQ? And I think it's the LG G7 ThinQ here for value. And I'll explain the reason why. Because LG offers a free two year warranty with the G7 ThinQ, and it's basically competing on every level with the Galaxy S9. Okay, so they're both around the same price point. Which one is the better value? Is it the Galaxy S9 or the LG? G7 ThinQ. And to me, it's the LG G7 ThinQ, which offers up the better value this year due to it having a two year warranty out of the box and being basically matching the Galaxy S9 on almost every level. It's compact, it's light, it's thin. It's probably cheaper in most places than a Galaxy S9. It offers expandable storage and it offers a wide angle dual camera at the same price as the smaller S9, less than the S9 Plus. But I do think that Samsung's camera on this phone is a little bit better overall, and I think the, the software is just a little bit more refined, but I think you get more for your money with the LG G7 ThinQ, and to step up to the Galaxy S9 Plus, you definitely are gonna pay 100, 150 more, and if you get a bigger you know, storage size, two, $300 more, than an LG G7 ThinQ. So if it was my money between these two, I'm going with the LG G7 ThinQ. If you have any questions relating to these two, I have experienced both of them in the real world, let me know. I'll try to get back to your questions down below. Any other comments, concerns, feedback, drop that there as well. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.